I want to start off by saying rest in peace to Bill Russell and prayers out to everyone that was close to him, everyone that knew him, everyone that watched him play, his family, everyone that is somehow related to Bill Russell or his connections to Bill Russell. Now, I made this video a couple days late to pay some homage to Bill Russell to not try to just get a ton of publicity off of his death, and I figured today was a great day to finally show my respects to him. This video is going to be eight minutes long to honor the eight straight championships he won. It's also made on August 6th, which he was number six, and August is the eighth month, which again pays homage to his eight straight championships. So that might be a great spot to start. He won eight straight championships, like I said, throughout the 50s slash 60s, and he was also an 11 time champion total. Only played 13 years, so he only lost two years in the finals. I believe he made the finals all 13 years. He died at the age of 88 years old and 169 days. He also had a cousin that played in the NBA named Bob Hopkins who had around a four or five year career that was also decently successful, average around 10 points per game. Uh, Bill Russell's real name is William Felton Russell and he was born on July 31st or he died on July 31st, 2022, born on February 12th. 1934 in Monroe, Louisiana. He was a left-handed center, six foot ten, six foot nine, 215 pounds. One of the greatest players of all time, unarguably a top ten player of all time, arguably a top five player of all time. I've even heard people say he was the greatest player of all time or greatest center of all time. He was inducted into the Hall of Fame as a player in 1975 and as a coach in 2021. He was a player coach for, I believe, two of the championships and ended up becoming a coach for multiple NBA teams, including the Supersonics, I believe. Uh, he went to high school in Clemens in Oakland, California. He was drafted by the St. Louis Hawks, who then traded him to the Celtics, which is one of the worst trades in Hawks history. He was second overall pick in the 1956 NBA draft, a 12-time All-Star, only to make the All-Star team one, te one year, which was his rookie year, retired at the age of 34, and made the All-Star team that season, still averaged 10 points per game, as well as 19 rebounds uh, in his best years. He had a 25, point per, or 25 rebound per game season, he had a 24, 23, 21, 18 and a half, 19 and a half, 23 and a half, 23 and a half, 24, 24, 23, 22 and a half, and 19 and a half in his rookie year rebound per game seasons. Never averaged more than 19 points per game in his career, but was an absolute great rebounder and shot blocker, but shot blocks were not tracked at the time. There also was no three point line. He may, when you watch clips, look like he wasn't the most skilled player for what today's standards are, but back then he was an absolute beast. He was also a four-time rebound champion. Like I said, he averaged a lot of rebounds every year throughout his career. Uh, an 11-time All-NBA, so out of the 12 All-Star teams he made, 11 of those times he also made the All-NBA team. A five-time MVP and would have been a multiple, multiple time finals MVP, potentially 11 time, but probably around nine times. And if that award existed back then, but that award was actually named after him because of how many championships he won. He's the most decorated athlete in all of sports history um, and definitely would have won probably a record amount of finals MVPs as well. Also, in 1963, he was the All-Star Game MVP, which that's probably one of the first All-Star Game MVPs of all time. Um, made all-defensive team in 1969 one time, which is when that uh, when that team, those teams were created because he would have made more than that, or maybe it was created a couple years before, but he would have made more than one team if it was around back then. He was a member of the NBA 75th anniversary team that was recently. Um, before 2020, he would give out the finals MVP trophy every single season and 
since then, since the bubble, he has not given it out. He could have for three seasons, but the last time he handed it out, I believe, was to the Toronto Raptors back in 2019. Um, had some great, great achievements throughout his career. Yes, there were only around eight teams for most of his career, but he still was part of the best dynasty in probably sports history, full of a team of Hall of Famers, one of the best coaches ever with Red Arbuck. Uh, this man has had some insane, insane just stats. And like his, his rebound numbers are off the charts. He went head to head with Bill Russell and mentored many, many players to come, including uh, Wilt Chamber, or I mean, not Wilt Chamber, like Kareem Abdul Jabbar and Michael Jordan and Jason Tatum, just to name a few. There are many, many more, though, and he's one of those players that when you think of basketball, you think of Bill Russell. He's one of those guys that after he retired, he was not out of the public eye. He was always around and looking for all the spotlight because he loved the spotlight. He loved being at those award shows, and I remember him flipping off the camera multiple, multiple times. This guy just loved to have fun, was a great, great guy, and it's really cool to see the greatest lefty of all time was this much of a social activist. He was very important to social justice and was one of the first black players actually to play in the NBA. Um, was didn't The Hawks didn't want him because of that, because of the scrutiny uh, with Atlanta. I believe it's in the South, if I'm wrong. I'm horrible with geography. Correct me in the comment section below. But he was traded to the Celtics. For, I believe an all-star but not anyone that you've ever heard of and if you have it's because he got traded for Bill Russell but um, he leaves behind I believe his wife is still alive he's had a couple of wives though so I'm not totally sure if it is current if he does have a current wife that he had to leave behind but this man I, I've loved seeing all of the public just love for him uh, there's been many many people all around the internet showing love to him he was on the news for days just bill russell after bill russell after bill russell because this man is just a sports icon if he were to play in more recent day he'd be more talked about he played in the 50s and 60s though like i said so wasn't as talked about publicly but he really was the definition of a winner and there's not much more that needs to be said Bill Russell should be the picture of the definition of winner in the dictionary. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, though. Subscribe and turn notification bells to all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my friends, and see you guys next time. Bye. Rest in peace to Bill Russell.